This cluster of homes seems out of place from afar, nestled snugly between a gigantic nuclear power plant and a belching coal-fired power plant in a grassy field next to the Ohio River. For most here, the Beaver Valley Nuclear Power Station is only a backdrop to the rest of their lives. To residents here, it's nothing to complain about, to brag about, and certainly nothing to fear. It's just another quiet village with friendly neighbors, low crime, and police officers who know residents by name. It's been 30 years since the worst nuclear disaster in history. Accident the United Nations called the greatest environmental catastrophe in the history of humanity. And there are still ramifications even today. Ukrainian officials recently touted the installation of a steel arch that will block radiation emissions from the site for the next 100 years. Near the city of Pripyat in northern Ukraine, only ghost towns and overgrown weeds remain. The accident killed 31 people in its immediate aftermath, but the radiation emitted since has sickened and killed thousands more in the decades that followed. For residents of Beaver County who live in the shadows of one of only 63 nuclear power plants in the country, it's pertinent to ask if something like Chernobyl could ever happen here. The answer is no. What happened at the Chernobyl plant was a massive failure on several levels, both of design and human error, the likes of which could never happen here. But that doesn't mean there weren't hard truths to be gleaned from the disaster and lessons still being learned today about the benefits and pitfalls of nuclear energy. Operations at Chernobyl were no different on April 26, 1986, than they were any other day. Crews came into work, they derived plans for routine maintenance and testing of the nuclear reactor's turbine. But during that test, there was an unexpected power surge to the facility, and when an emergency shutdown was attempted, a substantially larger power surge occurred, leading to a series of steam explosions and a rupture in the reactor. The resulting fire blasted a swath of highly radioactive material into the atmosphere and all across Europe. The emergency prompted the evacuation of 50,000 people in its aftermath, with an additional 300,000 evacuated in the months and years following. Because of the restricted nature of state-owned media in the communist country, it was days before the government even acknowledged an incident had taken place. By then, it was too late for many in the surrounding towns and cities near Chernobyl. Washington sources speculate the accident at Chernobyl had to be very bad or else the Soviets would never have acknowledged it. The consensus from domestic observers of the nuclear industry is that what happened in Chernobyl could never happen here. The type of nuclear reactors used at Chernobyl are banned in the United States and many other countries. The Chernobyl plant didn't have a suitable containment structure that would have prevented a substantial amount of radioactive material from escaping the plant. The Beaver Valley nuclear plant has a steel encasement structure that is one and a half inch thick, reactor vessel steel walls that are eight and a half inches thick, and containment buildings with steel reinforced concrete walls that are more than two feet thick. Although Chernobyl might not have had any impact on how domestic plants are designed or operated, it doesn't mean the disaster didn't have ramifications in how the public perceives nuclear power. More than 1,000 people work at Beaver Valley, making it one of the largest employers in Beaver County. The facility also contributes more than $4 million annually in property, payroll, and utility taxes to support area schools. And the shipping port residents think the plant and its workers are good neighbors too. Many residents have lived in the area their entire lives, to them, it's just there, another part of daily life.